Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So even the ugly duckling gets a chance on this channel. Now, I'm not just talking about me, I'm talking about this right here. When I say ugly duckling, what I mean is this thing's a little different looking. This is the Works Nitro 40 volt leaf jet. It's a battery powered leaf blower. And they're sort of approaching leap blowers different than anything else I've ever tested or reviewed on this channel. So I've been looking at it for a while. Today I said, let's break it out and test it out. So let's quickly go over some of the specs of this Works Leaf Jet blower. First off, this is the 40 volt model, meaning it is actually operates and requires two batteries to function. So this model is the most expensive Leaf Jet model and it's 250 bucks, which puts it on the high side. Now they do sell some models that only require one battery, so those are 20 volt models. So this works, Nitro Leaf Jet is rated at 620 CFM and 120 miles per hour. Now, I'm not sure how they figure that out, and I think as I use it, I'll get a sense of how, what, where those numbers really land, because they actually have this mechanism up front here that lets you adjust, supposedly in this position, it's more air volume, so that's gonna be your CFM. Now, if you bring it back like this, that's supposed to increase your air speed. I don't know if they're taking the best numbers from both positions. We'll see how that works as I use it. So in the back of this leap blower, they have the two works batteries. These are both 20 volt. That's how they come up with the 40 volt because they add them together. You can see this is a four amp hour battery and it's got a fuel gauge right there. Now what's cool about this model is it actually does come with a dual charger. That makes it more convenient. Some of the blowers and some of the equipment that require two batteries only have one charger. So you're swapping things in and out. You won't have to do that with this model. So the last thing we need to talk about are the controls. That's really simple. You have three speed settings. And of course you've got turbo, my favorite. So one of the really cool things about this blower is it is six and a half pounds ready to work. That is super light you can feel it. So if it's got the power and it's got a weight advantage, this may be a worthy blower to check out. Let's try it. So I'm really curious about how the two settings on the nozzle here really change the performance of this leaf blower. Let's try the first setting, which is volume, and then after that, we'll try speed and see if it makes a difference on our leaves. Here we go. We're going volume. So now let's try the speed setting. All the way down there, nozzles fully retracted. Here we go. So I just completed testing with this Works Nitro 40 volt leaf jet. And here's my takeaway. First off, the one thing this has got going for it is its weight. Now it is pretty light at six and a half pounds. That's pretty good. 
but really that's all I can say it's got going for it. If you've got a decent sized property, the batteries don't last that long. I was getting about eight minutes of runtime. Now keep in mind, I do run on turbo pretty much exclusively. So you can push that out a little longer if you're not using turbo. Now, the other thing about this leaf blower is a lot of leaves are getting caught right here. Um, just because it's such a small intake, this area right here, and as those leaves got caught up there, I noticed my performance drop. So you gotta continue to clean those leaves off. Now, as far as this idea of volume speed, I could not detect any difference, whether it was out, fully extended, or all the way in. So bottom line me, mate, here it is. For 250 beans that you would spend on this Works Leaf Jet, I think there's other models out there that will give you better performance and better features. In fact, I did a huge review where I tested over 20 battery powered leaf blowers. You're gonna wanna check that out before you spring for any leaf blower. I'll have a link to that down below. Anyway, at this point, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't be done. There's another video right there that you're gonna wanna check out. Trust me, it'll help you. Go do it.